Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chair and members of the committee. Thank you for inviting me to be here today. I really appreciate the opportunity to testify before you. Uh, again, I'm Sarah Wolcha, and I'm the Executive Director of Children's Dental Services in Minnesota. Established in 1919, we are Minnesota's oldest nonprofit providing dental care to low-income families, and I'm here today in support of allowing dental therapists to practice in New Mexico. The, um, the, the PowerPoint copy that you have in front of you um, that, that I'm speaking about today is, is looks like this. I apologize for some of the uh, writing being a little difficult to read, but it, it's entitled Dental Therapy, an Employer's Perspective. Uh, so just to let you know a little bit about who we are at Children's Dental Services and what we do, we serve children from birth to 21, regardless of family income. Uh, we serve low-income pregnant women and un- or underinsured. Um, and we, we are a community dental leader. A hallmark of our dental services is that they are evidence-based. And because of this, we are hailed as a local and national leader in provision of community-based dental care. Um, since about the time that I came on as the leader of Children's Dental Services in 2000, we've quadrupled in size. Um, we st when I came on, we served around 4,000 kids, to and today we serve more than 30,000 a year. And this is really because of a crisis in access to dental care, a lack of access to affordable dental care for low-income children and families. Um, today, we are the single largest provider of on-site dental care in Minnesota schools and Head Start centers. Because of the growing number of families lacking dental care in Minnesota, we began to investigate ways to increase care in a financially sustainable way. And after researching the success of dental therapy in about 50 other countries, including Great Britain and New Zealand, we decided to pursue a dental therapy workforce model in Minnesota. And we were successful. In, min in uh, 2009, Minnesota authorized two types of new dental providers. One is a dental therapist, and the other is an advanced dental therapist, similar to the new provider being proposed in New Mexico. Children's Dental Services has employed two graduates from the first class of advanced dental therapists and one from the second class. They passed rigorous testing authorized by the Minnesota Board of Dentistry before entering practice. And I want to point out that this testing occurred in a blind setting alongside other dentists. So in other words, the testers did not know if they were reviewing dentists or dental therapists. And uh, again, those who we employed passed those tests. And we now employ the first advanced dental therapist credentialed by the state of Minnesota. Our dental therapists are community-based and integrate preventive care and routine restorative care, such as fillings, into patient visits. And this is freeing our other dentists to practice at the top of their license and focus on complex cases. <coughs> like New Mexico, Minnesota has a significant amount of rural and tribal land where shortages of dental providers are particularly acute. Our advanced dental therapists can work in remote settings in rural Minnesota while their supervising dentists are in our major metropolitan area in the Twin Cities. And they're able to do this using digital x-rays and electronic charts so that they're able to connect with their supervising dentists regardless of the location where they're practicing. And the most important thing that I want to tell you is that so far, our experience with dental therapists has been remarkable. Um, and you, I have included um, charts that show what we're seeing in terms of productivity and the actual impact of advanced dental therapists in our workforce starting from 2011. And in summary, our advanced dental therapists have consistently performed in the middle to top half of productivity when compared with staff dentists. And you can see that on, on page six. The, those in yellow are our advanced dental therapists, and the others are our dentists. So they're, they're right up there in terms of production. The cost of an advanced dental therapist at approximately $45 per hour is roughly half of the $75 per hour it costs to employ a new dentist, which results in a savings to our practice of $1,200 per week for each dental therapist that we employ. 
With a dental therapist added into our dental staff mix, our dentists are free, again, to provide more complicated restorative care and 